How are you feeling today? Still a little bit under the weather, but getting better for sure. Right now, we're waiting for a fast boat going straight to El Nido. Normally, this would have taken you about eight to nine hours. I did it last year on the slow boat. It was actually really enjoyable, but luckily, they've introduced a new fast boat. It should be a pretty beautiful ride there. As I remember last time, it's one of the most incredible things you'll see. They're going in between islands through incredible blue water. Boarding the Montenegro Lions for the next four and a half hours or so. This is our home. We have just arrived here in the port of El Nido. It took about four, maybe four and a half hours to get here. Definitely faster than the boat I took last year, but not as much of an experience. Like, to be honest, if you're on a budget, don't be disappointed that you have to take the slow boat because it's a beautiful experience getting here. Whereas in this boat, you don't really see out much. You just kind of wait to get here. But we've arrived in El Nido, right at the footsteps of these incredible mountains. Yeah, Sir Christian, <laughs> nice to meet you. So I was really excited to get to El Nido, but I think what I'm actually more excited about right now is checking into our hotel. This is one of the most exclusive resorts in all of El Nido, and I'm really excited to check it out. Thank you. You've gotta be kidding me. I did not expect to be on a separate island. I thought it was part of the mainland, but here we are on this little slice of paradise in El Nido of all places. This is like one of the most incredible landscapes you'll come across. And the water, as always, stupid clear. Gatorade clear. Ugh. This is the craziest resort entrance I think I've ever seen. Like, this is paradise, this is Avatar. I honestly was not prepared for this sort of beauty. Like, this is world class. You can't find this pretty much anywhere else in the world. I could not be more excited to be here. And these drone shots, oh my gosh. <laughs> these drone shots are amazing. So the getting here was very, very wavy. The winds are pretty strong today. Uh, you might even be able to tell it in those drone shots, but that boat takes it like a champ. Like there's really no waves coming over. You stay completely dry, which can't be said for most of the boats we've been riding for the past almost month now. Jamie and I have been getting soaked on a daily basis from these little tiny bancas, but that boat just rips through those big waves. Right now I feel like I'm trekking through the jungle. I love the quiet, quaint feel in here. It's so beautiful. So I think it's time I formally introduce this hotel. This is Kauaian Island Resort. We came in, docked onto this private island, and the rest is history. Check out the room. It's been a travel day, but like a very reasonable travel day. I'm not even that tired. Gonna use tonight as an opportunity to get some really good food. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of editing because I definitely have a lot of that to catch up on. So right now, they got the infinity pool all lit up. LIT, if you know what I mean. Just ate a delicious romaine salad, which by the way, I have not had vegetables since getting to the Philippines, so that was much needed. And the pizza's arrived. Oh, no worries. All right, good morning, guys. It is a fresh start to the day, and today is gonna be a really amazing day. Extremely cinematic. Right now, Jamie and I are heading to meet up with a couple buddies. One I've actually not met before, but the other guy, Giaro, met him in Bali probably about five to six months ago. So it'll be cool to see him again and to go and shoot around El Nido. All right, that's our boat out there. I asked if he wanted help, but he said he's Superman. So he's good. Superman. Here we go, the final push. Superman's pulling us in. We finally made it on the boat. We didn't fall in the ocean, so we're off to a good start today. I want to introduce you to, this is Renan. Renan. And this is Jaro. Nice to meet you. Yep. Haven't seen you in probably like eight months. I think it's almost a year. I think we were in Bali, I think it's exactly a year ago. Today we're actually doing the Tour A, which is probably the most popular tour you can do here in El Nido. The first stop is typically going to take you here to Small Lagoon. As you can see, we don't exactly have it to ourselves. Things have changed over the past two years. Two years ago, there was probably one or two other boats. Last year, there was probably five other boats. 
This year, I guess there's about 15 to 20 other boats and just about everyone has a kayak. So things have changed. I'm not gonna be the guy to be like, oh, I remember the old days when things used to be just me, blah, blah, blah. I've, seen, I've heard that way too much from old people trying to reminisce on old days because let's be honest, we are living in the present. It's still just as beautiful of a place. You just have to share it with a lot more people. Jamie's the driver of the day. Yeah. <laughs> It's awesome. Superman, watch my YouTube. Have you ever been in a serious boat accident? I guess it'll be today, yeah. if it ever happens. Oh, the J-stroke for no reason. The J-stroke? You know it. Damn. Ladies, he's single. Slide into the DMs. Uh-oh. Here comes rain. It's time to somehow put this camera away. I am so sorry, camera. I'm just beating the crap out of you on this trip. Massive waves coming overboard, pouring rain. I have not been fair to you. And now we're about to collide. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm hurt! I told you we were gonna get a boat accident. <laughs> I feel like you did that intentionally. <laughs> you had the entire lagoon. You literally managed to hit it head to head. <laughs> I just need more excitement in my life. <laughs> so, there's no denying, the secret got out. People now know about El Nido. And even though you won't be able to enjoy a small lagoon to yourself anymore, it still doesn't take away from the incredible natural beauty that surrounds you. The drastic, unforgiving limestone mountains that hug the beautiful emerald blue waters. That was my attempt at being an author. But back to the point, I still highly recommend Tour A, checking out Small Lagoon. It's one of the most beautiful places, but just be prepared to share it with other travelers unless you're there during the low season. This would be your best chance at getting Small Lagoon to yourself. But if you're one of those people that want to have your own individual experiences and you're not a big fan of busy attractions, well, you're still in luck because El Nido has plenty of nooks and crannies. All you need is a private boat. Damn, the fans are everywhere. Look, we have a beer holder. Hey, that's nice. We three beers with the boat. Wow. So are you guys a package deal? We're a package deal, yeah. Yeah. One Brazilian and one Italian on the boat. Coconuts for everyone. Enjoy. Thank you. Why do I have the ugly one? I want the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> I want the pretty one. We told our driver that we no longer wanted to do tour A and we actually just told them to find us a nice strip of land where we could have lunch and hang out. Just about 15 minutes away from Small Lagoon was this private beach where only one other boat was located. This is definitely one of the main benefits of getting a private boat and if you've got a group of four or more it can be done fairly affordably. Lunch right here on the beautiful private beach. Today I'm actually using helloelnido.com and they've set up this entire private excursion for me. So I'm really stoked to be here because otherwise I would be on a busy little boat with an orange life jacket on. This is a lot better to me. My number one tip when traveling is don't be afraid to get lost. Like bring a compass or like a map or something. Like don't get completely lost, but don't be afraid to go off the path. Damn, yeah, there's a couple of them. I wonder if they attack. No, it's running, it's running. Little jellyfish we saw on the way here. Yeah, I got to know one. <laughs> it like washed up on my hand and I feel like a stringy thing wrapped around it. And I'm like, what's going on? I pull out my hand and the jellyfish is like on my hand. I feel a bit of an irritation. Maybe it'll pick up in a bit, but. I don't know. That's not one of the poisonous jellyfish, so we were told. Unless I drop dead, in which case Jamie is now the proud owner of the Lost of Long Channel. And uh, just remember me as a funny guy who tried hard to make jokes. We're pretty much heading out from this private island. It's been beautiful. It's been really nice just to eat some good food. Now back to the boat. The second most popular location in El Nido, right after Small Lagoon, is its big brother, Big Lagoon. We've just arrived at our final stop of the day. This is the Big Lagoon, and if you saw my earlier drone clips, I saw Big Lagoon. Well, it turns out it was the Big Lagoon. There was just no way to get into it earlier because the tide was too shallow, so boats like this couldn't get in. You could actually walk your kayak in, but you'd have to be committed enough to walk it over. We were not. We went to a private island. That was the best choice. We're back now, and so are, I would say, a good 100, 150 other peoples. Jaro, have you been here yet? 
Yeah, I've been here before three days ago. Yeah, yeah. Was, for some reason, I think today it's just really crowded. A lot of tourists. Yeah, a lot of people today. Look at this, guys. We're going through the shallowest water. People are walking through. It's only like waist deep. But uh, we got some troopers to push our boat through, which is pretty cool. Are we going to be the only boat in there? Yeah, that's good. No way. Yeah, we're going to take it inside. That's awesome. So if you go during the week, it's way less packed. You don't see all these people. Yeah. You maybe see like 20 people, which is really good. And now it's so packed. It's very So packed. I think if I could give one tip is don't go on the weekends. Because it's just becoming high tide, like our small enough boat can make it through here right now. But it's really ridiculous because everyone's just kind of like hanging out, like either with the kayak or just like swimming around low key. We just pull through with our boat and it feels a little obnoxious because we're like out of the way, <laughs> parting the seas to get our boat in. Okay, this is amazing right now. I feel like we got this entire lagoon to ourselves. Finally, this is what it's about. So this is the Instagram life. He just picked up a paddle and he hasn't done anything today. Okay guys, we just arrived. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Renan got us here. I'm gonna go for a break. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna just tell him what you did? So I drank the coconut and then I just swallowed it. Nah, I spit it back into the <laughs> coconut so I could take another photo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ren. Hi. She's been showing us around today. <laughs> Thank you so much, it's been so great. Welcome, I hope yeah. you enjoyed your tour today. It's been great. <laughs> You're joining out? I wish I was joining you guys, but uh, we're heading back to the resort now, and they're staying on this really cool beach house right over there. Take care. Au revoir, monsieur. Now we have to find our way back to the resort, which probably took about 20 minutes with a speedboat ripping through huge waves yesterday. Now we're going in this thing, which is not nearly as fast, and the waves have been not good. I need to put this thing away because every time the waves hit, like we all get soaked. So I'm about to go for a good swim. I don't want my camera to join me. And the usual here on this trip, Jamie and I completely soaked. <laughs> oh, low key might die, but we're cool. We're good. So we made it back safely. I didn't even vlog what happened, but it was very interesting getting back. I tried to film with my phone, but I couldn't even get the start button to hit because everything was so wet. We were getting smashed in the waves. Luckily though, we were able to get here safely. Hopefully the boat driver is able to return safely through these crazy waves. Right now we're just back here at Kuaian Resort. And after this, gonna head back to the room and do some editing. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you're coming to the Philippines, I've made an entire travel video guide for you. It will help you decide between Cebu or Palawan or the both. It'll help you find your way around the main tourist attractions like El Nido and find the hidden gems which are covered in depth in my guide. Everything from packing your bag to safety, everything you need to know is in this guide. If you want to get a free preview of the guide, it's just linked down below. The 5 Hot Tips to the Philippines is a great head start for your big trip to the Philippines. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Button, hit the bell button so you're notified when new videos are posted and guys really appreciate you being here Let's get lost again in the next one fun of the day